Hi, my name is Vicki and this is Heartland Knits and Sews, my YouTube channel where I talk about all the things I love to do, mostly knitting and sewing. Today I have an unboxing video for you because this lovely pink package arrived at my door just now and so I had to stop everything and open it up. Um, I have slid it open, but that is it. This is the Think Pink subscription box, fabric subscription box from Andrea at Beyond the Pink Door. It comes once a month. And I was hoping that I would be wearing the dress that I am making out of last month's fabric. We had a lovely sort of floral viscose and I've been working on it, but it's not quite finished yet. This is this is sort of how far I've gotten. I decided to do the Nikki dress by Maison Fauve. So this is, this is it. I've got it. It's, it's, um, this is how I've started to do um, dresses lately is I do sort of the front bodice and skirt and the back bodice and skirt and then join them together at the side seams. So that is as far as I've gotten. It has these lovely sleeves with a box pleat detail on them. So I'm looking forward to doing those. I've done this facing. I kind of stopped because I'm not sure I love that facing. I was going to bind it and then I thought I would try the facing and it's fine where it's where it's attached up here. I'm just not loving. It seems like it's stretched when I overlocked it. So I'm not loving that. Anyway, I might try to take it off and put binding on. It's probably a mistake, but we'll see. Anyway, I am working on that. This is uh, come a little bit early, but anyway, I am not going to wait to finish that. But anyway, let us get into this um, box, this beautiful, beautiful box comes with its little sticker and let's get into it. It's a little squished. You can see it It took a bit of a journey. I mean, it's a little bit squished. Um, some of them come much um, better, but it's, it's heavy and it's one of the large boxes and it's heavy. So I'm not sure what it is. I do know Andrea said on one of her uh, Sunday lives that it was a fabric that they've never had in the boxes before. So I don't know exactly what that is. So, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah it took a journey because it's <laughs> like you ripped them. The paper is all ripped. So I'm going to just rip some more. So Russell Alert. Um, and okay. So um, the postcard says a woman's work is never done. So there we go, and it's two and a half meters of fabric. I can see the fabric. It's right, just right all there. So let's start with the sweet treat, of course. This is Buak, Buak. I can't remember how you say it anymore, but it's ruby raspberry. White chocolate with raspberry and ruby chocolate drops. That sounds great. We've had like a big kind of square of this. We've had one of those in a box sort of last summer, spring, and then we had another one in the advent calendar, but yeah, this sounds lovely. And then we have uh, uh, from Hemline, bib and brace set. So yeah, so those are great, and it's kind of a, a kind of coppery color. And then we have um, thread. So we have our thread and it's uh, coming up a little bit late. It is color number 979, which will give you a hint of what fabric is. And the fabric, it like literally fills this whole box. It's, it's, it's a lot. And it is it is a very sort of wide wheel corduroy in this kind of floral. It's almost a cross between a floral. It, yeah, I guess you call it a floral. Um, I, first I thought, is it an animal print? But no, it's like a floral. Um, so obviously with, with 
with the picture and the clips, I think the theme is sort of that you would make like a dungarees with this. Sort of a, a kind of brick, is it brick or is it brown? I'm not really sure how you describe that color. But yeah, so I don't know. I have the the Cleo dress, the little dungaree dress from Tilly and the Buttons. I made a few of those several years ago. Um, I'm not sure if that's my style anymore, but it would work really well for that. And so, yeah, um, two and a half meters. I don't know what kind of long dungaree, like how, it seems like they would take more fabric on that. I'm not sure, but it would, you could also do like a jacket. I've been wanting to do a polar jacket in um, a corduroy. I think that would be really pretty. It would make a really nice little skirt. I don't know. I will have to look at the ebook and see what all the the um, suggestions are. That's how I found that to decided to do the Nikki dress because that was one of the the suggestions in the ebook. Um, Okay, this is Vicki from about an hour in the future, and I've had time to sort of look through the ebook, and there were a lot of great suggestions in there. But what I have decided to do with this fabric is, because to me, this looks very autumn-y. And even though I have made myself the goal of always sewing up my fabric before the next box arrives, I'm gonna put this away till like September-ish, and then take it out and make the Maison Faux Polar Jacket. I think it will be super cute with this, uh, with this fabric, with those little pleats on the shoulder and everything. I sort of wish I bought one of the fleecy collar kits that Andrew put together last summer or fall, because that would look really super cute on this. Maybe she'll still have some or she'll do them again for next for next fall. But anyway, that's not a deal breaker. But yeah, I think that's what I am going to do. So yeah, so that is what we have. We have this lovely postcard, the fabric, the thread, the clips, and of course, the chocolate. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. This was a really quick little video. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, please do subscribe and remember to give me a like. And until I see you next time from my heart to yours, happy sewing.